I'm Spider-Man, and welcome to my movie review show, where I talk about movies. On today's show, we're going to be reviewing the best movie ever made. And of course, that's Into the Spider-Verse, starring Nicolas Cage. Along with Shamik Moore, Haley Steinfeld, Mahershala Ali, and John Maloney. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is the animation. And let me tell you something, the animation in this film is incredible. This movie is one of the most colorful and creatively animated features that I have ever witnessed. Honestly, I think this movie is going to win a lot of awards for its animation style and art design, because truly this movie is a work of art. I also felt that this movie utilized elements from comic books very effectively. This film incorporates text boxes that appear on screen that make it feel as if you are living inside of a comic book. And there's also on-screen text for the sound effects, such as screech or thwip. I also thought that the character designs were amazingly well done. There's a lot of variety here when it comes to the look of these characters. There's a lot of variance in the size of the characters that really makes it easy to tell what's going on in some of the more fast-paced action scenes. And another thing that they did in this film, which was really amazing and honestly a stroke of genius, there's a different art style for many of the characters in this film. For instance, Penny Parker has more of an anime style, whereas Peter Porker is drawn more like a cartoon. Now let me tell you something about this movie. The attention to detail is phenomenal. A couple of things that I noticed you can actually see some of the wrinkles in the suits. And the detail on the spider that bites Miles Morales, it's fantastic. In fact, pretty much this entire movie is so beautiful that you could print out any part of this movie and frame it, and then your woman will be all like, wow, that's such a beautiful picture. Won't you make love to being beneath it? All in all, the animation in this movie is something very special. And although this movie does have some pretty funny moments and some pretty sad moments as well, nothing in this film distracts from the spectacular animation. And this is a film that I would actually recommend seeing in 3D. I don't recommend seeing a lot of movies in 3D, but with this particular film, you gotta see it in 3D. The only criticism that I would really have of the animation in this movie is that it seemed like the frame rate was a little bit low. Alright, so next I want to talk about the acting, if that's alright with you. This movie employs a lot of very famous celebrities to do the voice acting, but I thought that all these actors did a very good job of blending into their characters. Some of the highlights for me are Mahershala Ali as Uncle Aaron, and definitely Haley Steinfeld as Spider-Gwen. Man, this is a hell of a year for her, being in this and Bumblebee. I also really enjoyed John Maloney as the amazing Spider-Ham. And of course, the best performance of the entire movie is by Nicolas Cage. And of course, with all these different type of characters, you are gonna get a variety of tones, but I thought that it all blended together seamlessly. All right, so the next thing that we should probably talk about here is the story. The story is written by Phil Lord, who's most well known for co-writing the Lego movie with Christopher Miller. And when it comes to the story, I thought that the story had some really good twists and some surprises. I like that there's a real sense of progression in this movie. Miles Morales doesn't just start out having awesome powers. He gets them over time, and honestly, for most of the movie, he completely sucks. And some people might complain that this movie didn't have enough spider people, or that it had too many spider people, but me, I think that it actually had the perfect amount of spider people. This movie had five spider people, and I think that that's enough spider people. Yes, could we have that last Spider-Man assassinated, please? Thank you. Now, where were we? Spider-Verse is a very well-written movie. I really liked how the movie's self-aware and how it acknowledges that the audience knows the origin of Spider-Man by now. There's some good jokes, but not enough that this movie becomes a straight-up comedy. And there's some meta moments, but not enough that this movie becomes Deadpool. I also really liked that Aunt May actually had something to do in this movie. She's actually well-written, and she's actually useful. If I did have one criticism of the writing in this movie, it's that they do kind of overutilize that trope of everybody just shitting on Spider-Man. Basically, whenever you're writing Spider-Man stories, you just make it as hard for Peter Parker as you can, and that tends to create a good Spider-Man tale. Yeah, here they kind of did that, 
But uh, what can I say? They did create a good Spider-Man tale, so I guess it's just a small criticism. So the last thing that I want to talk about here is the music. This film utilizes original compositions by some of today's most popular artists. This includes Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Ski Mask the Slump God, and a song by Post Malone that I actually really like. And this music makes the film feel very modern, very relevant, and very now. And as much as this helps the movie right now, I'm a little worried that the movie won't age that well as a result. Okay, that's probably enough spider people. I think I'll handle the final thoughts. And all in all, this film is truly spectacular. This is one of the best films of the year, and it's also one of the best Spider-Man movies that's ever been made. And I absolutely recommend that you run out and see this film. In fact, I can't even think of a reason why you wouldn't see this film. Even if you don't like Spider-Man, you should see this movie. Even if you don't like cartoons, you should see this movie. Even if you don't like movies, I still kind of think that you should see this movie. And yeah, guys, I know that it sounds crazy to say that a Spider-Man film made by Sony Pictures is basically a work of art, but it is, and you should go see it. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be about it for this video. If you've seen Spider-Verse, go ahead and let me know what you thought down in the comments. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.